In this tutorial we're going to look at sky replacement. I'm going to show you using a very simple technique how to replace a sky in Photoshop and how to replace a sky in Luminar 3. You may have seen the adverts for the new Luminar 4 that's coming out later towards the end of the year and one of the features in that is sky replacement. As a photographer, I'm looking forward to this feature uh, because some of my images do have sky replacements in them. You know what it's like, you get to an area, you've checked the weather apps, everything seems fine, you get there, you get your location, you get your spot, you get your composition, and the sky is just bland. So for photographs like that, I tend to replace the sky and in that case it's not really a photograph then, that's what I term as an image because it has a part of a photograph that has been replaced so it's two images becoming one. So I'm going to show you a very simple technique that can be used in Photoshop and also used in Luminar. The same technique for both programs. The image I'm going to use, which I'll put on the screen just now, I actually went out to shoot that in, with the intention of using it as a composite. So let's dive right into Photoshop and then Luminar to show you this technique. Okay, here's the image that I'm going to use and I've already brought in the sky as you can see here. And it's just a quick and simple gradient blend to the sky. This was actually shot with the intention of creating a composite and here's the composite now. It's the same principles that are applied to create that composite. So here we go. Okay, this is layer five, as you see here, and it's a sky, slightly off color, totally different color. But how we're going to apply this is, in Photoshop, we are going to add a layer mask and hold down Alt. So the layer mask that is now a hide all mask. So what I'm gonna use is the gradient tool to blend this in. And if it's not white, press X, White reveals, black conceals, and you see it's a black mask we have, so we need to use white to reveal it. Click at the top, holding down the shift button, so that I get a straight line, and I'm going to get down to about there. The longer I've dragged out that line, the more of a gradient you get, so that's what I'm trying to do here. So basically that's it, I would then take that into Luminar and edit it, and here's the final result. Using the same principle, we're going to add a background to this. And because, as I said, it was short, misty day, it was short for a composite, I'm going to add another background into this just to give the image a totally different effect just using the same principles. Here is a picture of the mist moving over the Anarchia Ridge in Glencoe. I am going to add a hide all layer mask to this, hold down Alt and click add layer mask, hide all. I'm then going to go back over to my gradient tool and it's in white, hold down the shift key for this, drag down. There we have it. That's how quickly you can add a simple background or sky in Photoshop. Next we'll have a look at it in Luminar using the exact same principles. So now I've loaded the image into Luminar and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the texture overlay option to apply the background to this image. So straight away into add filter, texture overlay, load the texture. I'm going to take the sky first, open, close that and get it out of the way. I'm then going to choose the gradient mask. Remember that Luminar creates the masks for you. And click and drag to draw gradient. I'm going to start about there and draw down around there. 
and then I'm going to raise the gradient the amount of the gradient ever so slightly so there we go turn off the brush so that's how to apply the sky in here what I'm going to do is hide that one get through the same process again add filter texture overlay this time I'm going to add the Glencoe image, the Anarchy Eckridge wood texture Glencoe open let that load into the program. Take the drop down for the brush, take the gradient mask, click and drag. Just to about there, because we don't want it affecting any of these trees. And the mist actually with this image really, really helps this one. That's how to do it using texture overlay. There is another option you can do, I won't go into that just now, but that's up here and that's add new image layer and then you just go through the exact same process to whatever suits your workflow. Well, I hope you enjoyed that simple technique to blending skies. It doesn't go into channel masks or the fine detail where you have branches, buildings and all other artefacts that break the horizon. So that's a really simple technique for simple images. Uh, if you're shooting a sunset and the, the clouds are not there, you can use that technique to blend in clouds. Luminar 4 the brand new software from Skylum. I'll put a link below and I'll also put an affiliate link below if you're interested in the new software. The sky replacement feature is just one of the features in the new software. I haven't seen the rest. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what they can do, but I'm really looking forward to the sky replacement feature because it'll be interesting to see how it reads the scene. It reads these artifacts that I mentioned and it'll be interesting to see how it deals with them. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching.